Hello guys, uh, we're just hopping on here real quick because um, we have a little bit of downtime and also because we are going to be celebrating our four year anniversary here guys. Yes! Four years, baby. Let's go. Yes! Four years for us and as here at Alex Styles Barbershop in Watauga, Texas. So, um, because it's our four years, we, we thought we should just do a little come on here and, and tell you guys a little bit more about ourselves because I don't think that we have. Um, we have some questions. Ah, come through with the questions. I love the questions. Um, we have some questions that we've been asking for, or a lot of people just ask us all these questions and then just random, okay? So, are you ready, babe? You have to answer it. <laughs> All right, so it is very slow. It is raining outside. It's raining outside. Nobody can you see, but it's it is raining. Just take a word for it. It is our four-year anniversary here at the shop. I'm Tony the barber, and I'm Evelyn. Evelyn. Evelyn the barberess. His wife. Yes. So we're gonna we're gonna get to these questions. Y'all leave comments on the bottom. Like it, ask us whatever you y'all want for the next video because we're gonna keep on doing videos. Yeah, in case we didn't answer any of the questions that you wanna ask, you can always ask us here whenever you come get your hair cut or you can leave it down below and we'll do another one. Alright, baby, come on. Alright, are you ready? Let's get these questions, baby. Alright, let's go. So it's just 20 questions, real quick. Okay, short answers. Let's keep it friendly. Yes, it's super friendly. <laughs> All right, first question. How long have we been doing hair? Um, I personally have been doing hair since I graduated from high school. I got my, my cosmetology license in my senior year, junior, senior year. So this year is actually my 20th, 20th? Yeah, like 20, 20 years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you have 20 years. You? Me, um, I actually been cutting my own hair since I was 12. And I'll be 40 in October. My, I, I was spending my brother's hair, my cousins, my dad, all the friends, all the homies. I've been cutting hair from like 12, 12 until like 16, and I really started getting real good. And I got my license after high school, so and I'm, I'm like 20 years like professionally. He has, wait, he, he's been cutting hair more than me. And uh, <laughs> 20, 20, 28 years almost. I'm cutting hair. Wow. That that whenever I learned that about him, which was not it was recently, um, yeah, my mind was blown. Second question: Was this our first career choice? No. Um, for me, I think it was. Yeah, because yeah, I I was thinking about this since I was in the ninth grade. So I'm gonna say yes for me. How about you? I'm gonna say no. Honestly, no, because because since I started cutting so early, to, you know, since my parents couldn't afford to take me to, to the barber every week or two weeks, that's why I asked for a pair of clippers. For for one of my birthdays, my my 12 year old birthday, I asked. I, I went to middle school and I got clippers and I started cutting my own hair and I would cut it so bad that I always had to cut it off all, all bald. And a lot of people would call me, "Hey, it has been long. That's been long." I, almost every week I would have to shave it bald because I made the fade so high. You know, now I have my own shop and I'm doing, I'm doing a thing. But it, you have to go through all those ups and downs to get wherever you want to be. Nothing's overnight success. So, so, so just stay the path and just keep on going. One day you'll be like, oh man, I, oh man, I can take out the line. Oh, wow, the edges are really good. It just happens. All of us were not good at first, for real. And now, it's, you, know, you know, now it's over, baby. Ice, <laughs> ice game, baby. Just don't. All right, <laughs> question number three. Oh. How can you work together without killing each other? This is one that we get all the time. All the time. Um, well, well, first, I don't want to kill her, but okay. But let's get that out of the way. But, <laughs> some, but sometimes when we, when we do butt heads here, but really, I'm in the first station. She's in the third one. So but we kind of do our own clients, kind of do, we kind of have our own work life here. So we, we don't really bother each other. We take our own appointments. We, we do our own transactions. We do our own everything here. So at home, it's husband and wife here. It's husband and wife, but it's, it's like, she's, she's, she's her own yeah. professional cosmetologist. I'm my own, own barber here. 
And we don't really step on each other's toes. Is that, that, that's how you make it work? Yes, that is very, very true. I feel like whenever we're, um, uh, when we're open, oh, I broke my nails, so don't mind those nails. Anyway, so whenever we're working, nails, so no yeah, whenever we're working, I feel like I have my clientele, he has his, um, and we're like totally in connection with that client in that moment and then we have it we have them back to back to back to back to back all day long so me and him we don't really have that much time to be playing around or no, arguing or getting on each other's nerves i'm not in his way he's not in my no. way if anything if i run out of something he'll go get it for me yeah. if i have a lot of hair on the floor he'll sleep for me yeah. i hate to be we tag team up let me tell you something i hate to be <laughs> he sleeps for me most of the time and then i you know vice versa i do things for him too as well so um we just kind of help each other just to get through the day and just get our clients in and get them out so they can live their lives too. So, but uh, let me tell well, one more, one little thing. If we were working together, like hands on together, like let's say you give us this thing from Ikea so we can build together, I feel like then we do butt hits because I think I know how to do things and he thinks he knows how to do things. So, <laughs> but here in the shop, we don't butt hits. We, we don't bring our home lives over here and we try our best separate, to take separate. our work lives home. Separate. Keep it separate. Yes. Work it is works. Work. Home is home. Don't, even, don't ever mess them together. That works. Next question. Who pays the bills? And that would be me. I pay I pay the bills. I mean, we both we both, you know, we have our income, right? Uh, but from that income, that's I'm the one that is behind the computer. I pay all the bills and taxes and receipts and all, all the fun stuff. <laughs> all the paperwork is me. She does all the all the stuff that I don't want to do. Yeah. All the if I all the business side of it that I, I don't want to do a stuff cut here. Always the best. She does my art taxes. She does everything, man. <laughs> Next question: Who cleans the shop more? Me every day. I always sleep up. Both of us always open up the shop and get it going. Like I'm always cutting first, but she does all the deep cleaning, the deep all, cleaning. all the real stuff that I don't want to do mopping and really getting into it. But but every day it's, like it's, it's me trash. She um. I do I do the deep cleaning. Um. And, yeah, I mean, he's. I never have to take that trash, and I don't. I hardly ever sleep. So yeah, it's, it's very rare. But everything, everything else, I think I, I do more of it around here. And let me know if you want me to clean some more. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> who has more clientele? That's a good question. That's a good question. Uh, me personally, I would say. Before COVID, before COVID, we were shut down with down for three months. It was hard. And then we had to do whatever that we had to do. And then now, until this day, I, I would say I have a little bit more. Now. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, because um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my schedule is more laid back than yours. So yeah. This is pretty much always booked and all i feel the like the videos the videos help um because people call and they're like hey i want tony i want tony i want tony and me i'm like baby you're all booked yeah, all the time. <laughs> that's a good problem yeah i like to sit in the office and watch netflix <laughs> but she has a lot of clients too I'm, i mean we, we probably have like 330 clients together no together yeah we have me, a lot of clients it's not my just clients his clients are both of our clients and they're the shop's clients yeah the shop it's, it's the shop's so. clients but, but but back to the question who has, who has more clients too i don't mean her right now yeah like i have a little bit more there who has who has the ice in their veins both of us all of us <laughs> both has a cold baby uh, oh. uh, <laughs> and, we're like yes this and these pop 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 i too have hands too but yeah, like, i'm not, not a show uh, okay. not play <laughs> I, I, um, who is the voice of the shop obviously everyone knows the voice of the shop is tony yep. it's tony yeah for sure because i greet everybody that comes in the door i i talk to them i ask them how's your day He's first chair yeah i talk to everybody yeah. i keep everybody cool uh -huh. everybody feels like family when whenever they walk in the shop and my wife is more like like the closer like she'll come in and like finish it up and that's it 
Like she'll knock down six heads like in an hour, guys. Bro, like if she like if she gets serious, like she's like. I'm all like Tony. Yeah. The finish. Skip it. Yeah. So work. Let's go. So I don't <laughs> want to take all the credit. As, as much credit as I, as I get from all the clients, I want to say she's the backbone. She's everything. No, but so, the question is who's the voice okay, of the cool. shop? So Me. Yeah. yeah but she's the sure. life of the shop. So okay. Where are you? Okay. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Um. What's the best thing about being a shop owner? Vacations, baby. <laughs> vacations, baby. We'll be taking like two more vacations uh, this year. No doubt, for real. And we already went like, like, on six of them so far. But, but I mean, it's not like we have money and we just get money from people that gave us. We have to work for our stuff. We save. We, 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 we do a lot of... Uh, excuse me, but budgeting and we, we make it work and we go on vacation and we have a good time. I don't want you guys to think we just have all this money and we just do whatever we want. No, 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 no. no, no. no We're, we, we, we ball on a budget. We would we eat vacate, groceries for a whole month and save it. We vacate on a budget. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, we'll talk about that next video. That's, yeah, yeah. that's a whole other. Yeah. That's a whole, that's a whole other system, system but we're, yes. we're not have to Yes. Um, we have a pretty good vacationing system, but oh no, but for me, the best thing about being a shop owner, okay. um, because I've been through so many shops, um, I feel like the best thing about being a shop owner is just having freedom. Uh, it's freedom. It's the freedom of coming and going as you please and not dealing with like all these other ladies, not dealing with, of course, the boss. Um, I mean, in a way, he's my boss. <laughs> he's always my boss. That's, that's the real boss right there. But, um, but, I mean, but, I, but I mean, like, you know, it was, it was a, just too much. I would like jump from shop to shop and stuff. And I just wanted to do that. So I, I like I like owning this, the shop and even though it's a little smaller, older, whatever. But it's ours. It's that. Yeah, I mean, it's ours. It's ours. Yeah, 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 it's ours. So. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> what do you guys do during downtime? Basically, this is what we do. Um, Downtime, I'll I'll uh I'll, I'll clean my clippers. I'll oh yeah, he, he I'll reset them. I I reset my, my zero gap. I'll hold them down. Re, redo my my my, my barbicide, my, my alcohol, my, my waters. I'll, I'll clean up my shavers. I'll, yeah. I'll clean my whole station all apart. Um, I'm gonna do mine. Yeah, hers we'll too. Fill up my sonic strips, my barbicide. My, clean up, just sweep just up, everything. sweep up. Uh, I mean everything that you need to do to get your shop going, basically cleaning. Get it ready for the and then when, once I'm done cleaning and, and there's still not any haircuts, um, I I'll get down on the PlayStation, man. I'll play the you know Madden and like 2K all day, man. I'll play games. Oh yeah. You know, he, this this right here is a champ. <laughs> like sometimes. <laughs> and of course, I I um I keep up with all my shows on the laptop, YouTube. I watch YouTubers, I watch Netflix, I watch HBO Max, I watch everything. I watch everything. That's what I do. Talk on the phone, chit chat with all my friends. And I'm three of y'all. <laughs> okay. Um, how important is a haircut for a person? I would say the haircut. It, 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 it makes your face. It makes your face. Like you see this right here. Once I get a haircut, my face looks skinnier. It's just the way it is. It's, it's really good. I have. I, we had clients that we cut their hair and they'll get the job. Yes. They get married. They have kids now. They were single and they never had girlfriends and now they have girlfriends. It just makes you feel good about yourself and you feel good. You're confident. You think good. You dress good. Confidence, man. All the way. It's all about confidence. Yeah, because um, I mean we've been in we've, we've seen clients, and I'm sure if you're a barber or a hairstylist, you've seen clients come in and they're just down and out. Down, they, they don't feel good. They're just like oh, with life. And once you get done with them, like you automatically, automatically see that spark. Yeah, you pick up their like that spark is like it's what makes my day. Yeah. It's what makes my like it just fills me with joy. Yeah, it makes our job worth it. Yeah, so like the money's good. Is very, very important. And we are essential. <laughs> we are essential. We are essential. <laughs> a haircut is very, uh, a haircut is very important. All right. Yes. Y'all get y'all special cuts, man. Uh -huh. 
Um, who's your most frequent frequent client? Do you know? The okay. most frequent client. I have, I have two. Um, I have one guy named Tyrone. He probably comes every. Oh yeah, Tyrone. That's Batman. Whatever, whatever on my videos. <laughs> Batman. He comes every Friday. You know, whatever. Shadow Link, Edge of Go Clean, whatever. And, and I have one more frequent client, but he actually moved moved back to California. And his name was Juan. Juan from from AT and T. He was a. Oh, every four days, right? He'll come two times a week. Two times a week. That's true. And, yeah. and sometimes every other day. So, so sometimes every three days, if you had a meeting, conference, so, so that was my most frequent client. Mine, um, mine's gonna have to be. I think it's Fred. One, of, well, yeah, probably Fred. That comes every week for a haircut. He's a mailman. Um, it's Fred for me, right there. Fred. Uh, sometimes Shelly. My client Shelly, too. Uh, she comes. She's very frequent. Who else? Like, like, for example, if we what, see... What's your most frequent? Yes, solid. So those two. Okay. Yeah, I think it is Fred. Because everyone else comes like every two weeks and stuff, but for the most part, I see Fred and Shelly are my, my most frequent. Um, what's the most you've received in tips? Oh, you go, you go. Me? Um, like just one client. Well, it doesn't say but One client. One. One transaction. One, one transaction. The most I ever, I ever got was the haircut and beard was thirty. Thirty, and he gave me one hundred thirty. So I got hundred dollars. I got a fifty dollar tip. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. I think mine was fifty. Mine, mine, mine is with you. Um, what are <laughs> what are good shoes to wear? Oh, uh, this wear? this is this is a big deal. This is this is something that that is very hard to find. Everybody wants to rock Jays, Jordans, all, all them nice fancy shoes. Quit it. That's gonna hurt your feet. After yes, after like two to four hours, hurt. after two or four hours, they look real clean, but. I don't care what you say. If you're a barber Woo! or a stylist and you're in heels all day, girl, I know your feet hurt. And if you're wearing J's, if you're wearing the, the the newest J's to work and you're a barber, boy, I know your feet are hurting. Hurt don't bad. lie. Don't lie. Hurt you got bad. those shoes stashed in your station somewhere yeah, you, your chanclas. Yeah, you got Me? chanclas. Our, our slides on the back. <laughs> I wear chanclas to work I and, and tennis shoes. I used to wear like boots with the, with the big old wide, wide heel and the thick ones. Those are okay, yeah, but only like two inches at most. I like to wear like running shoes. Are like the shoes that are like two for eighty dollars, like the Nike shoes, yeah, uh -huh. like the like, like you don't have to invest because you want to stand on your feet all day. Yeah. <clears throat> so like you don't have to wear the most expensive shoes, but I used to wear Jordans. I used to wear a lot of nice shoes, and like like about half the day, my feet were done. Or maybe we yeah. Just and I went to know. sandals. No, no, and I went to sandals. I'm cutting sandals, and you don't want to wear sandals. It, it feels good, but those hairs get into your skin. It's over, dude. I think if you get into your skin over. whenever you um, your your body heat so is it's like always about, high. It's all about running shoes or like comfortable shoes. Don't don't be about style whenever you yeah, you want to face your feet. But if you want to wear clean shoes, that's up to you. But I know that your feet hurt, so <laughs> <laughs> We know your feet hurt. You know things not running, man. I know you're we've, we've been cutting here for years. For years, baby. <laughs> Alright. All day long too. 18, 25 haircuts a day. True? True or false? What happens in the barbershop stays in the barbershop. Yeah, true. 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 Very, very true. Yeah. We're, we're, we're like bartenders too, where that they, they can find us and we keep it here once they leave. <laughs> it dies with us. Like, like we don't tell anybody. That's one of the that's one of the biggest things about being a barber. But don't gossip, man. Don't gossip. Don't gossip because it's gonna spread around and you're gonna have that bad reputation in your town and do all the barbers you doesn't know that you're the one that no gossiping, mm -hmm. no political talk, and no, no religion. religion, just talk. Yeah, just talk about other sports or food. Just talk about yes. that all day long. Okay. Uh, what inspired you to become a barber slash Cosmo? Um, me for me, I don't know. If, I don't know. 
I think that just because, just from being small and playing with dolls and cutting their hair and spraying them up, and like Bola. my mom, my mom and then Katie. I think my mom probably, yeah. She, I asked her, and she, I mean, she just thought it was a, like the best fit for me, and she supported me all the way. Um, she is a single mom. She's always been a single mom. And What's up, Ella? She, she, my mom, my mom was there. She inspired me to be who I wanted to be, and this is who I want to be. And she's my everything. <laughs> Love you, mama. <laughs> How about you? Well, well, first I want to say hi to my swagger. First, of all, you know, <laughs> uh, since you put all, all that, all that in No crying, there. no um, crying. For me, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't, I didn't want, want to become a barber. No, you didn't. I already cut so much pre prior to getting a license, mm -hmm. and and I don't even want to start on that, okay? Because I have my own opinions about <laughs> people that cut at home and you're not licensed. And I'm, I've done that, and now I'm a licensed barber having my own shop I, so I, I I could talk if I want to talk basically but, but, but I, yeah but I'm not gonna speak on that right now um I want to say the reason that I wanted to become a barber is because it's 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 like legal game it's like a legal dope game there there I say it <laughs> I don't want to say bad with stuff but this this is like legal dope money there yeah it is it, it's fast money but it's legal. I mean, you could make like a thousand dollars a day, like if you get it. I mean, hey, he's, that's his, his yeah. answer. That's my answer. Um, do we offer mobile? Does Speak Styles F offer mobile? Mobile barbering. Drum roll. Answer. We do. We do, but. There is a but. Um, we will we will go to you if we have more than let's say three guys per person. So more than six people. Six, six people. More. We're not gonna name prices. But prices are like double. We're not. Yeah. Yeah, we're not gonna say um, how much what they are. But like we do 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 mobile barber. Even though we have our own shop, but there, there, there's some times that people have to be at work. Or like special occasions like quinceañeras. Um, I used to do quinceañeras a lot. Like um, I would drive out to their place at 4 or 5 in the morning and do all the girls. All 10 girls, 8 girls, makeup, hairstyle, and then still do like two haircuts for the chambelanes. So, or like weddings. So we're, like, we're always done to do that, but it has to be worth it. Like for us, the drive, that's like everything so we do yeah we do we do have big styles does and it'll be both of us so if you have say a party of six or more people we do go yes all right um just a little heads up <laughs> who makes more money oh oh we about to argue or what <laughs> no i'm saying uh, so I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be honest i'm not <laughs> I feel like he, he makes more money because he barbers, he uses a razor, his prices are higher. Me, I I focus more like on my clients and kids and like, I don't, I just charge like a flat fee, you know? You can come to me and be like, give me a haircut, I'll cut your hair off bad age and a little design here and I'm not like, Okay, well, you want to design, you want your eyebrows, you want this, you want that. I'm like, that's $5, that's $10, that's $3, that's $3 on top of your head. I'm, I'm very, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people say I shouldn't be like that, but that's just the barber that I, barber slash that I am. I've been doing it for way too long. It's it ain't nothing. I'm not saying he is, but his price, but he, his prices and his detail work with his razor, him and his razor are like A1. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. My man, he makes the more money. He makes more money. <laughs> but, she, but she spins it, so. <laughs> even though, even though. I do spend it. I know how to right. spend it really good. Um, if you could add anything to your career right now, what what would you add to it? I would like to go back. Um, I would like to go back and get my barber instructor's license. It's another 500 hours. Uh, let's see the that be the plan. 
and we'll, we'll, we'll see where it goes from there. Um, mine used to be that I wanted to be an instructor, uh, but I found that I love doing it so much, and I don't like to do the book work or like the paperwork. You don't stuff. want to teach. Basically. I don't want to teach. I mean, I would teach, but if you work with me, come work with me. Work with me, and we'll teach you, and you're gonna be bad like us. But no, if I could add anything to my career right now. <gasps> I would add permanent makeup to my career, yes. I, I want to take a class to do permanent makeup so I could do the eyebrows, the eyeliners, lipsticks, do everything, the works. Um, we have the extra room and everything to do so. Um, I just have to go take the classes, pay for it, yeah. uh, of course pay for it. It's, oh, it's pretty pricey. And, you know, get the equipment and get the clients and going. But eventually, that's what I want to do, yes. Ah, I'm so excited. All right, drum roll, last question, guys. And last question, this is my question number 20. <gasps> Who's the better barber? Who cuts hair better? Who's better, me Who's better? Or, or her? Who's better, me or her? Who is better, me or her? Me or him. Her or me, who is better, straight up? Everything, fading, edge up, scissor work, color, wax eyebrows, blading, everything that you want to name as far as hair goes. Drum roll, ready? Drum roll! Me personally, I'm going to say my wife. Baby. She's better than me, yo. For real. But I'm like that. He's good. He's good. I'm, He's I'm you know why? You know why? You know what? But 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 if I have to choose who's better, she's better than me. But I do my thing, man. No, he's Go. he's he's badass. And you guys see it every day. Every day, whenever he posts his videos, um, those are his haircuts. But you, I don't help him. I don't help him do anything. Those are his his haircuts. Those are his touches that he puts in everybody's heads. Um, and he loves it and enjoys it. I feel like a barber. You have to, you have to have a barber who truly, truly, truly enjoys his craft. Because if he doesn't enjoy his craft, you can automatically tell, and it's gonna show in his haircut. So you have to make it fun. You have to do a lot of things. Yeah. But to me, she's better, and for her, for her, for me, he's better. So guess what? We're both better, guys. <laughs> Alright, hey, so um ask us any questions, anything. Yeah, if we missed if we missed a question that you wanted to know, comment comment it down below and then we can do another little video. Yeah. I just hope that this was a really cool thing to do because I don't feel like we we're online all the time and we're video, posting videos and like no one even knows us. Who yeah. are we? Yeah. Who are you? Who so are that's, I? That, that, that's so, who yeah. we are, that's Peak Styles right there. Leave your comments and your questions. But we'll do more videos. You know Follow saying? us, like us, subscribe to us if you're on YouTube. Um, leave comments, interact with us. We yeah. love you guys. We love our clients. Let's go. Follow the barber, baby. We love our shop. Let's go. Four years, baby. Peak styles for Four life. Four years. Peak styles for life, baby. Let's go. <laughs> What's up, man? It's the barber. I am here with my Grand Prix alumni here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Daniel's in the house. So I'm take the things off the top. We'll do a nice one blend on the side, too. Circle the back, block off the hair burns. Let's go get the cut. Hey, what's up, man? I'm back with Daniel. I took about an inch off, layered it to the back. Get a nice one, one of them put the paint on it. Ah, uh, GP! Ah, uh, GP! Free haircut. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? I'm back with my man Brian right here. So I'm going to short and sweet. Short and sweet. That's going to be a few styles, so. Hey, what's up, man? I'm back in Brian right here again. So I, so, so I did eight on top, left a little bit of paint on top right here. Did a nice, nice net bay, did a nice beard. Quick, man. So I'll talk about it. Absolutely. Hey, what's up, y'all, man? It's on the barber. I'm back with my man Danny right here. So I'm going to do one and a half against the green. I'm going to do a clean edge up. I'm going to do a lot of net bay on them. Let's go. Fire. Yeah. So, man, I'm back with Danny, man. So I did a one and one and a half against the green, clean edge up, clean some things with the eyebrows, with the facial hair. Let's go, man. Let's get it, baby. Yeah. Oh, Vegas, baby. Vegas. Yeah, come to Jasper. So, yes, sir.